सितारे जिसकी गर्दे राह हूँ वो कारवा तू है Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope all of you are in the best state of Iman and health. Today we are going to start a new grammar topic. The topic is articles. Okay, we are going to look at three different articles which are a, an and the. All the articles are used to point out nouns. Now we are going to look at the difference between the usage of these three articles. First we have a and an. Both of them are used for singular nouns. Okay. A is used with nouns that begin with consonants. What are consonants? These alphabets we have here are consonants which include B, C, D, F, G, J, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. These are consonants. A is used with nouns that begins with that begin with consonants. Then we have an. An is used with the nouns that begin with vowels. We have five vowels over here which are a, e, i, o and u. So a is used with nouns that begin with consonants whereas an is used with nouns that begin with vowels. Moving on we are going to look at the usage of the article da. Da is used for both singular and plural nouns. Okay. The is also used for a noun that is introduced second time. When we are going to look at the example for the usage of all, trees, uh, all these three articles, the, these rules are going to become clear to you, inshallah. So the first example we have is, this is a stall. Here, I is used with a noun that is starting with a consonant. The second senten sentence is, there is an umbrella on the stall. An is used with a noun that is starting with a vowel. Here we have uh, the article the also used. So the sentence is there is an umbrella on the stall. Now we had the first sentence which introduced the, this noun stall. Therefore we used a with it. But this in this sentence the stall is introduced the second time. Okay, The mention of the stall has come a second time. Therefore according to this rule we are going to use the with stall now. Okay. There is an umbrella on the stall. The third example we have is the students are in the English class. Here the is used with a plural noun which is students. Moving on to our next grammar topic which is who and which. Usage of who and which. It is very simple. Who is used for people and which is used for things. We are going to look at two examples where we are going to connect these two sentences either using who or which. The rest of the examples we are going to do in a class inshallah. So the first sentence is this is the teacher. She told, she told the class to be quiet. So as the teacher is a person we are going to use who to connect this sentence. So the sentence will become this is the teacher who told the class to be quiet. The second sentence is this is the bin. The dog tipped it over. So there, because the bin is a thing, therefore we are going to use which to connect the sentence. This is the bin which the dog tipped over. That was all for today. Thank you very much. Stay safe and blessed.